have no fear because Schiller is here. What's up? Let's go over what the Third Kingdom Mint is expecting to be quite an eye catcher, but you might be here early before it really makes its round. And why is it making its round? Because there is 312 million 500,000 root in total waiting to be unlocked in just the first season of this the third kingdom currently this is like a 30 million dollar prize pot that might be uh, uh as quick as a month it could be a couple it could be an entire year not entirely sure but so Surrealscapes, what are these? These are going to be your land, and to be able to harvest from the land, you are going to need to mint prisms, and that what is what the upcoming mint is going to be for. We're kind of speculating on the price right now. We're not entirely sure. But these prisms are going to be like land harvesting devices where you are going to develop your land and it says that you'll manage valuable resources like mycelium. So uh, that's one of the potential resources, but it sounds like there's going to be more. You can refine them and discover new islands and create a production empire, says the description. But really, what the heck does this all mean? On the Surrealscapes, they have different parcels that are a part of them. It can be in 1, 4, 9, or 16. And you can plant up to three prisms on each of the land parcels, and that's where things get interesting. So you're telling me if I have 16 land parcels, it's going to be 16 times 3, so I'm going to need 48 prisms if that's the case. Now, before we get more into prisms, realize that you are able to get a free plot of land if you were a part of the snapshot that happened earlier. And those collections being Fluff World Burrows, Fluff World Scenes and Sounds Mystic Valley, Same Scenes and Sounds of Dancing in the Shroomlight, Walker World Genesis Walkers, Walker World Women, Walker World The Lost Walkers, Walker World Squads, Walker World Mutants, and Cool Cats. Doodles, Dead Fellas, and Pudgy Penguins collections will be added to the list of collections eligible for Surrealscape soon. And these collections are going to be tradable on Mark, which right now is the only NFT marketplace for Root. And apparently for Burroughs holders, it did take into account what scenes you had in your wallet. And so your Surrealscapes might be different depending on what sort of scenes were in your wallet, if any. And the Burroughs Metaspaces apparently are this premium customizable environment that's going to be used for Readyverse. Now it reads, Prisms will be available exclusively through an upcoming price discovery event open to all featuring a novel protocol developed by Auto Blockchain and powered by the Root Network. Participants will be invited to purchase premium prisms with Root in the sale. More details of the sale will be released soon. And I do have a video with the Auto Blockchain founder if you're wanting to scroll back in the channel to see more about that. But what exactly is this novel mechanic? Excited to see them show it off. Then it reads, each prism purchased in the sale will be premium, boasting superior trait advantages in the Third Kingdom game. So these prisms, which was confirmed by founder Aaron McDonald that the premium and this entire first cluster of 135,000 is just going to be for this season one. With fewer premium prisms in existence that can be placed on land slots in the Surrealscape, so this is insinuating that there's going to be several more seasons to come after that, and these initial first ones are, quote-unquote, the genesis, as you look in your various NFT collections and think what's the first of a collection and why you think that it's, you know, paying more attention to. These genesis Surrealscapes could be interesting. Prisms feature a prefix and suffix trait mapping each to an in-game biome and industry. Planting these against your land parcels will begin a unique and strategic harvesting experience shaped by the number of prisms you are using, the traits they possess, and their synergy between the land and resources contained within. So we could see a lot of trading, swapping, uh, and people trying to get into the best synergy amongst their land. While Surrealscape holders enjoy a significant advantage and greater rewards in the Third Kingdom game, those without will be able to participate by planting prisms on community land. Community land in the Third Kingdom game is a shared space through which eager harvesters without a Surrealscape in their wallet can participate in gameplay for a chance of root rewards, secure prisms to unlock access to the experience. Now, this kind of reads the community land as its own thing. Just because of the name, it says community land. 
I, I feel like the community will probably be involved with it, but just how it reads, I don't know if that's like the specific name for it, where it's, hey, everybody that's in the Third Kingdom community, you can use this, or if it's kind of a feedback system, but probably more to come. These surreal scapes are going to increase your future score, which I have several videos on future score, but the TLDR is that it's just if you buy assets, you can get a higher future score that increases over time. Now we're still waiting for more info, but the thing that you need to do right now is create a future pass. If you have an EVM wallet, then you should be good to go. There is alternatives for signing up through email, but I'm pretty sure you need to have the wallet to be able to access this and then just get in root however way you wish. Hope you guys found that helpful. Again, I do a stream called XFeed every single day where we go over the news of Web3, but obviously I'm planning on covering the Third Kingdom and everything Futureverse does, so be sure to stay tuned.